this is a review of my track sled purchase I'm gonna go over a quick introduction to it and the different features the rod made when he built this from a John Deere snowmobile frame well, here it is with the handlebars in the stowed position all you do is just flip it over and then it rests on this bar and you put these pins in it to secure it down the pivot point is right here and he had he made three locations it's in the center one now and you just simply take those bolts out and then move it in the back where it rests there's multiple points where you can take this bolt out and you can move this bar up or down and I found that right about it, it right below chest level is about right in the back did a nice job put some sheet metal in in the sides and he designed it to fit a cooler so you can just put it in the back and it fits as such it's got a little headlight with the battery in this box the switch is located down here but I'm going to probably move it to the handlebars so I can just turn it on from back there Powered by a Predator 212 valve cover indicates it's a non hemi, which is fine. So, from here is an on off switch, he's got it marked. Here's the throttle cable, and the here's the kill switch, he's got it wrapped in a nice mesh. The throttle cable and then mesh run up along here so here's the kill switch it also functions as an off button you just push this it'll shut it off it's got the original John Deere snowmobile handlebars with the similar type thumb throttle in the back he put the John Deere mud flap logo he used that along with the handlebars he's got a 30 30 class torque converter on there which runs to a number 40 chain this is a nice touch he put he put this on nice uh, chain tensioner and it runs to the large sprocket I don't know how many teeth are in that sprocket but he Sold it with some extra stuff. So here's a smaller tooth sprocket that I can put on here. It'll give me more speed and less torque. He also included another chain. I think that, I hope that is the chain that fits this sprocket since it's going to be a different length. It's going to be shorter than that chain. He also threw in an extra belt, Predator manual, and a bunch of a bunch of studs. I can put those on the track. So I gotta take the cooler out so I can rest the sled on here. I'll show you the tracks undercarriage see if I can tip this over so this is the track with the bogey the bogeys quite a few I think I froze I use this in the slush and I think I froze the track I gotta get this heated up so I loosen up the track but it's in pretty good shape nice 
nice and new, not cracked. I don't know if I, I can't see what I'm taking a picture of underneath the carriage here, but everything looks pretty good. So let's see what else we got. The here's this originally came with the came with the snowmobile. It's got a double strand chain in there. It's a type of time and chain. And just fill this up with a little bit of oil, keep it lubricated. But that looks really nice and new. I don't know if he replaced it. He might have probably did it looks pretty new but yeah so that just goes down to drive the down the tunnel to drive the track and then he put this nice little hood on it ah yeah they're frozen so you just unscrew these Last time I was using it, it was wet, so. And you have to take these all the way out to get the hood open in. They're pretty long, so definitely not threading out when you're running. That here, so then you just open it up. That allows access to the fuel, so you can fill it up. And yeah, just your standard predator mower motor. The back looks really nice. I'll probably take off these aluminum side panels maybe and paint them. I like to kind of paint it John Deere yellow. So I got my John Deere green original John Deere green I think I mean, he might have painted that too but he's got all the angle iron and stuff he painted up real nice he's got these side panels riveted in I'd have to take out quite a few rivets if I wanted to repaint it he's got aluminum parts here he's got this on the hole but uh, back on it's hard to do with one hand yeah the guy that built this he put a lot of thought into it I might try to put a bumper or something on the front like a handlebar to be able to grab it and move it from up front but I like the light I'll probably, I may run the pull cord back up this way and put it right here so I can just pull start it from behind. But let's see if she fires up. Got it on. Choke on, see how many pulls it takes. It's hard to tell. It's about 10 degrees right now. Oh yeah, she's cold. I'm going to leave this choke on for a while. Oop. We're on half choke now. So it took about 30 seconds to get to half choke form. Put her on. motors it does not like the cold Let's see if I give her a little gas so it sounds better I'll do another video of, of it underway. But I'll let her warm up. I'll put some warm glo gloves on, some better boots, and I'll take it out for a ride. 
that'll do it for now. It's a beautiful day. Let's take a look outside. The sun just came. Oh yeah. Let's get her going. I gotta put them pins in before I forget.